Hi, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll talk to you about some new gear that I just purchased. If you've been on my channel before, you know I've been a Moscow Moto guy for a long time. I've had nearly every bag and product they've made. And recently, I've sold it all. Uh, as my parents would say, you just can't put 10 pounds of potatoes in a five pound bag. Everything I tried, everything I bought, I just couldn't make it work for me. It's nothing against their product or quality or anything. I just couldn't make it work for me. So, I'm real excited. I've purchased a bunch of Lone Rider gear. And this was the first piece that arrived. And this is called the 30 liter Overlander bag. And so far, I'm really excited about just one simple bag. So, let's take a look and see why I'm so excited. So they call this a semi-rigid bag. Now the bag itself is, is nothing more than just a waterproof bag. Uh, it does have some nice features to it, but it's just a waterproof bag. So the semi-rigid thing, that's this piece of, I don't know, plastic so to speak. And it's got a couple pockets here. It's got a zipper on the inside. It's got a little tether in case you want to put something in there and you want to be able to find it. Uh, another pocket here, the Velcro is Velcro's on the inside of the bag. And I recently learned why, if you noticed on the Lone Rider stuff, they use a lot of red. So the red allows you to see your items inside your bag. So when the bag is dark and black like this, the red interior lining allows you to see your items. So this is going to go inside the bag and allow it to keep its shape. Inside the bag, on the sides here is a piece of Velcro. It's gonna slide in, attach here, attach on both sides, and give the bag its shape. So it's install that and then go back. So it just drops down in there, and then you kind of push and tug and get it lined up right. And again, slide that over, tucked in there, and there we go. Now it's got some shape to it, right? Got some design. So for me, the issue that I was having all along with my other Paneers, my soft-sided Paneers, the Moscow Moto ones, was there was a few items I couldn't get inside. And now I, I, I think I can get these inside this. But let's just take a look at what I get. So number one, you get backpack straps. So it's got a couple hooks and then the straps got a couple buckles on this end and it becomes a backpack. And, and that's okay, but this is something that I haven't seen before. Every dry bag I have, you know, when you start sealing it up, it's full of air. Well, they put a relief valve. I mean, why didn't anyone else do that? I mean, you talk about a genius and thinking about it. That's genius. All right, so roll it over three times. Connect it. It's got one on each end. There we go. Nice little 30 liter bag, right? So then we have the top piece. This is like the beaver tail. And it attaches to the top, buckle on each side. But before I do that, let me show you what you get here. One side is, is just plain. It's got a zippered pocket. It's got a weatherproof seal on the zipper. And it's got this map pouch, right? So, and if you want to put your map inside there or any other documents, you're going to be able to see that. So, I, I like that. That can be very handy. On this side, you got moly webbing with the little reflective strips. So, put that on top. Buckle that on. Alright, now we have a nice map pouch. Not done yet though. How about three liters of water inside this? It's got a zipper spot right here. Three liters of water. It's got a hole right here for the hose to come out. And you can put that on your saddlebag, on your pannier right, right behind you, pull out the hose and get water. So now you've got a bag that's gonna carry your items, 
have your mat pouch and three liters of water. Boy, they really thought that one through. I think this is a great bag. So let's see what we can get in it. All right, stick around. All right, so let's see what we can get inside this 30 liter bag. So the cock was one of the issues that I was having a, an issue, having a problem with. And that fits no problem. So let's go with the, the table. Might as well put the chair in there too. And my concern with these is being those DAC aluminum poles, if I just put them on a bag on top of a pannier and threw a strap over them, I was afraid that if I buckled down on that strap, I was liable to bend one of those poles. So putting them in this bag and the buckle attaches here and, and on both sides, it's pulling down on the bag, not on the top of my items inside the bag. So that was a, a big deal for me. So obviously I haven't tried to compress this. We'll just stuff it in here. And they say to make it watertight, just like everyone else. And roll it once, twice. See what up? There we go. For me, that's a problem solved. That I could I could not get these into a pannier. I couldn't get the cot into a pannier. The other stuff fit, but I couldn't get that cot into a pannier. I even bought another cot trying to make it work, and I couldn't. This bag alone is going to make the difference. So again, now I put this on the top. Now I've got mat pouch, water, anything I need on the top of this bag. It's out of my way and it's not big. I mean, I'm gonna compare this to a hard top pannier. That's mounted on top of a hard top pannier. As you can see, take those buckles right there, run a strap through, and it's it is designed to fit on top of the Lone Rider Moto bags. So I think this is a really good bag for me, and that's gonna go a long way with me. All right, so if you're looking for a little extra storage and it needs to be waterproof, take a look at the Lone Rider 30 liter Overlander bag. I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. All right, hope you got something out of the video. Again, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. Keep an eye on the next video. Thanks, have a great day, be safe.